Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another pick a card reading. Now today it's not going to be timeless because I am making this pick a card reading for the Mercury retrograde period that we're in right now. So let's see what this Mercury retrograde has in store for you. Now in the jar today we've got 19 archetypes and what I'll do is I'll shuffle really well and I'll, I think I'll pick two per group. Who knows if I'm guided to pick an extra one I certainly will. So we've got that and we've got additional guidance by this deck which is the Archangel Gabriel deck. Now it is by Doreen Virtue and I realize that some people really do not like Doreen Virtue decks because she used to do lots of tarot decks. She was kind of like, I don't know, like the queen of tarot at one time. I used to watch her years ago. But then what happened was she changed and she became very Christian and a lot of people got rid of all their Doreen Virtue decks. And me, I think this is a really beautiful deck. I saw a tarot reader use it the other day and I just really liked it because, you know, the messages were beautiful, like vulnerability, keep going. I loved the kind of traditional artwork, happy news. So for me, this is all very gentle and lovely and I like this deck, so I'm going to use it. But if you are, um, if you really don't like you know, Doreen Virtue or something like that. You don't have to watch this video. Um, but me, I like this. I think it's a really sweet deck and I will draw one card per group. So I hope that's okay. Um, it's not the video for everyone maybe, but yeah, see how you go. I, I think this should be nice. So as usual, choose from between group one, group two or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Okay, so we've got courage. That's beautiful. Wow, the waves are crashing. Mm, I like that. Wow, well, we're off to a powerful start. We've got Kali Ma here. How wonderful. Okay. We've got Courthouse. We've got Right Action. Wow, another beautiful card. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And we've got the Devil in reverse. Fantastic. Okay, so let's take a look at this spread and see what is going on. When I looked at these briefly earlier, I was kind of reminded by some of the comments that you guys put in the comments below. I've, I've read this now in a couple of tarot videos. Some of you are dealing with situations where you're having to work out, okay, do I keep my current line of work? Um, you know, maybe, you know, you're being asked to do something that you don't particularly want to do and you're having to look at that situation. You're having to really deal with that. I've had two or three of you now in the comments below talk about that and let me know that that's something you're going through. A lot of people are going through this and if that's the situation, that was the first thing that popped into my mind when I looked at these because we've got Kalima, we've got the goddess of destruction here. And she, like Shiva, 
you know they they are present sometimes when something needs to go okay you've also got this card of courage and you've also got this card of right action so there's some situation it could be a very different situation it could be and we've got the courthouse here so we've got some kind of legal situation possibly so there's something quite specific it could also be that you are it could be something to do with someone else and so we are we're going to draw and see if there's someone else here let's just see what we've got here with all the cards and then I'll draw the archetypes and see if there's somebody else because this could also be all to do with somebody else but definitely the first thing that popped into my mind was something like you're being asked to do the right thing look at that right action courage goddess of destruction courthouse these are pretty big things this I took to be that you're your dream or what it is that you're personally working towards that's just been pushed down the road a little bit okay not by much but there's some delay to you achieving your goals and wishes and dreams something's been pushed down the road that's what I'm getting here with the ten of cups in reverse with the devil in reverse I'm getting the fact that you are totally fine <laughs> okay I'm getting the fact that you are you're not being hooked in kind of thing you're not um, if this was upright then it could be that you'd need to do some work but I feel like you're totally okay I feel like you're cool with this situation I feel like if you're being asked to do the right thing or something like that I feel like you'll be able to do that no problem courthouse I'm kind of taking this quite a little bit literally because people are in lots of situations right now where they have they're coming up against the law and there's a video that I watched of this young man who he actually explained how he flew from Brazil to England and he didn't have to quarantine he didn't have to I think do some of the rules or things they were asking he spoke to them and I'm going to watch that video I haven't seen it yet but he basically spoke to them because internally he has embodied his rights and he's not interested in fighting anyone okay that's another thing that I learned recently from Rachel Elno she's an amazing speaker at the moment on YouTube she's got a lovely channel and she yesterday did a video about the fact that we are free and we mustn't you know so he he had all these rules and things he had to jump through but he just talked to the people at the airport I believe in England and um, yeah, he just talked to them he embodied his rights right action and he was able to pass through without having to do the quarantine without having to spend 10 days and spend 2,000 pounds he basically walked through and he walked home straight into his home right so it's the this kind of thing that some of you might be having to deal with at this time okay and I see that you're fine I see you're like that guy who flew into England he's you know he, he was able to go home and just do do what uh, he does you know and that's great let's take a look and see archetypes is there someone else here and if so what kind of archetypes are we dealing with so we're going to draw one for you okay let's see I'll give these a good shuffle and I'm not looking <laughs> okay that's you I'm going to draw one for the other person if there is another person here could also be your higher self we'll see what comes through okay and then we'll take one of these cards so you oh fantastic you in this situation you're the poet I definitely felt hang on let's focus in on that you're a poet okay I definitely felt that you're okay we've got this you're not being hooked in you know you're fine you know what the right thing to do is or how you want to proceed or you know exactly where you're at and what you're about so that's you're in good shape okay let's see is there another person present and what are they all right we've got a saboteur here okay we'll draw a little bit more 
saboteur, huh? Whoops. Focusing's gone all weird. There we go. Saboteur. Okay, so you've got someone who does a bit of self-sabotage, possibly. Sabotages people around them, like sometimes. Mm, so that could be... This could be... Yes, I'm kind of seeing this. Saboteur. Let's draw another one for them. <laughs> I want to get more information on this person. Someone around you who self-sabotages or sabotages the progress of other people. Uh, and that's what's needing. Perhaps you have to let go of this person. You have to have the courage to walk away from them or to be able to put up stronger boundaries, to not get hooked in. Let's take a look. Let's take one more for them. Whoops. Okay, hang on. I'm not going to look. I just want one. Okay, we've got that one. I'm so curious to see what this is now. Pioneer. Gosh. Okay. That is interesting. Oh, that's you. Yeah, it's on this side. Because that's a really strong energy and that is definitely you. This person... And this could be somebody at your workplace as well. This could be somebody who's just making things difficult. There's somebody around you who's making things difficult at the moment. But you're fine. You've got really good energy. You're not being hooked in. And I think the main message from this is really, it's, yeah, your dream, okay, you're having to push it down a little bit. There is some delay or there's some blockage. But... You are moving towards it all the time, okay? You're moving towards creating the dream, the, the, you know, the dreams of your life kind of thing. You're, you're still on track very much. Maybe just a bit of a delay. Let's take a look and see what's in this deck for you. What kind of guidance do we have? shuffling for quite a while. I really want one to the, that pops out. No. That's the one. Taking the top one. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, wow. Helping children. Part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, and helping young people. Oh, how beautiful. Absolutely. Do you know, and this could be, this could be a situation which is to do with, and this, I mentioned Rachel Elno in this reading. Isn't that fascinating? So this is a very specific reading, guys. If this one isn't you, then do try another group. But um, she has massively been talking about helping children. And... The fact that, look at that, we've got Courthouse here, we've got Kali Ma, we've got Courage, we've got Right Action. Rachel Elno has been doing a lot of work to say that, look, she wants, say for example, children at school to have choice, okay? That, um, and that parents should have choice, you know, um, for when, like, when we're looking at mandatory programs and things like that. She's very much working hard saying that parents children should have choices and that's important she's working hard for that you're a poet you're a pioneer I, I would imagine that you would want that too so perhaps we've got some parents um, in this audience and this is about empowering you to to you know really really tune in Listen to what your heart is saying. We've got courage, core, heart, right? This is the French word for heart, I think, core. So really tune into your heart and, and do what you believe is right. Not what anyone else says or any of that, okay? Um, 
and your dream you will achieve what it is that you want it's here there's just some form of delay that's all but you're doing amazing group number one and I know that whatever situation that you're in you're gonna find the way to handle it you absolutely will so I'm wishing you all the best Group number one, thank you so much for tuning in. This was a very specific one, so if it's not you, then, you know, because not everyone has children. So, but, um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. How beautiful. We've got flexibility. Isn't that stunning? Look at that lovely place and the light. How pretty. That place where the tiger is in. Okay. We've got Surya, the sun god. Fantastic. Love that. got compassion got pathway gosh that's beautiful and the pathway is full of butterflies and gorgeous sunlight and doesn't that card look quite a lot like this one how amazing two different decks bit of synchronicity right there We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. We've got the Page of Pentacles upright. And that's it. So this is a lovely spread. Look at how beautiful this is. It's so wonderful. There's a lot of really lovely, easy energy here. I think it's just confirmation that you're on the right path. You're on the right track. So we've got a synchronicity here, which is very much indicating it's like a good on you kind of a symbol. It's like the angels are saying, well done. You're on the path. You're on track. Everything's great. You are flexible and you're, and you're on track. That's really the main thing. There's compassion here. I'd imagine that you personally are in a very compassionate space. I'd imagine that you're, you're doing fine, you're doing your work. This is a really, really nice, lovely, easy spread. The only slightly discordant energy here or, or something that's you know, asking you to just think a little bit or just explore a little bit is this card, which is just saying you might be burnt out <laughs> or you might be having trouble delegating your work. It might help if you're able to delegate or get people to help you if you're super busy. Sometimes that is something, especially if you're self-employed, something that's, that can be a real challenge for people to realize that, hey, I, I don't just have to do all of this on my own, I can get help. So that is something to consider. There are new streams of income on the table for you. You've got the ability to, to earn money in new ways, okay? To, to try to monetize your passion or your hobby or something that you love doing. If you're in work that is draining you or tiring you out, we've got that here. This could be referring to a job that just isn't doing it for you. It's not fulfilling you anymore. And there is this thing of, hey, have you thought about trying to do your own thing? Because there are so many technologies now that are enabling us to do our own thing, you know. Um, so many amazing technologies that are making it easier and, and the thing that i'm thinking about is acuity scheduler that's the thing i use and it's this little tool that you know you book the session and it makes life so easy there's lots of things like that that we can use 
that are really helpful. Surya, the sun god, let's take a look at the back and see what it has to say. It says, let us sing the glories of the sun god, whose beauty rivals that of the hibiscus flower. I bow to him, the greatly eful effulgent sun of Kashya Kashyapa, who is the enemy of darkness and destroyer of all sins. So blessings, we've got honor, status and fame, reunion with one's beloved, freedom from disease and ailments, general vitality, respect and power. That is a terrific summation of the sun's qualities actually in astrology as well. That's beautiful. Honor, status and fame, absolutely. This is the sun, this is Leo, this is the fifth house. This is creativity. And that's where this is linking in. You will be able to, through your creativity, earn in a new way or earn new, you know, an additional source of income or something along those lines. It's pretty amazing what is possible these days. A lot more is possible now than it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. You know, we do live in amazing times and sometimes yeah, we, forget to, we forget to think about that. Let's take a look and see, is there someone else here with archetypes? Maybe it's just you that you're working with. Maybe there's somebody else, you know, <laughs> on this scene. I don't know. I'm not particularly from any of this. I'm, getting, I'm not getting that there's anyone else. But let's see with the archetypes what comes through. So we'll draw one for you or it could be somebody else. Oh, look, two came through. Okay, so let me see. Oh, I know, I'll just. Okay, so the first one is architect. I definitely think this is you right now because we've got Surya, the sun god here, right? You're creating, you're architecting your reality. You could be architecting a new business. You could be architecting a new way of working. So that's really exciting. That's really good confirmation right there. Let's have a look and see here, warrior. Fantastic. This really matches with this. I think you've been working hard. <coughs> Sorry about that. I think you've been working hard and I think life has felt like a bit of a slog. I'm seeing this as you. I'm seeing you as both this warrior and the architect. So that's interesting. The two archetypes that have come through are definitely you. I think you've been working really hard and life has felt like a bit of a battle maybe lately. And the thing to do here is really just to be compassionate towards yourself. Okay. Really find some time to get away from everything to get away from everyone, if you can as well. I think you might need a little bit of time out. Because if we do look at these, these are all solitary figures. These are all individual solitary figures. There's no, if there's cups energy here, so we've got fire twice, we've got earth. So this is about work. This is about your creativity. This is about some, creating something new, architecting something new. I think you're being a warrior in your current line of work or on your current path you're doing great and I'm get, definitely getting a strong feeling like your angels and guides are wanting to say you are amazing keep going you will be able to architect this new reality but you're gonna need some time to do it you're gonna need time out and I'm kind of sensing that yeah on the weekends if you're able to to really carve out just some time alone, even if it's just an hour, you know, just one hour. And who knows, with that hour, you might do lots of stuff, but equally you might just fall asleep. <laughs> do whatever you have to do. This is compassion. This is, you know, you're, you're working hard. Yeah. So make sure you take some time to rest. Let's take a look and see what's in the Archangel Gabriel deck. I really like this deck. It's just quite sweet and it offers some really nice guidance. Okay, let's take that one. It's popping out. I didn't have to shuffle for too long. Oh, how beautiful. That's so perfect. That's just what we were saying with compassion. Nurture yourself. 
Isn't that amazing? That is exactly what you need. So we've got two synchronicities here on your path, right? We've got this just here right now. So let's take a look. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Yes, it's, it's so important. Look at that. You've got this in reverse. Nurture yourself. That's just incredible. Group number two. This has been an absolutely beautiful reading. You guys are doing amazing. I can feel this energy. It's really great. So keep going. Keep, keep being you, you know, and that's important because of the sun. The sun is you. It's your self-expression. It's who you are at your core. That's really all you have to do. If, if you can just be yourself, your full self, and just enjoy that energy, that's a massive gift to the whole collective. Always remember that, you being yourself, and self with a capital S, that's what Lester Levinson teaches us. There's the small self, and there's the big self with the capital S, and that is the all is one, okay? So guys, this has been a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know how you get on in the comments. I love to read what's happening for you guys and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. How beautiful. Happiness. That is incredible. I love this picture. Wow. That is so pretty. I remember you, group three. You've got amazing, amazing energy, just like last time. Nataraj, Lord of the Dance. How beautiful. Okay, we've got house, number 20, looks like some moonlight there, very beautiful scene, it's quite a large house, <laughs> imagine vacuuming that house, it would take forever, <laughs> I'm so practical, <laughs> my first thing is, hmm, it would be very time consuming to clean and very expensive to heat. There we go. <laughs> um, but beautiful. I mean, look at that. Anyway, truth. Okay, wonderful. I love the pale sort of colors in here too. Got a very kind of um, pastel, high vibe, high vibe kind of colors there. Really stunning. Okay. And we've got the star in reverse for tarot. And we have got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is a really lovely spread, beautiful energy here. What we have is, the first thing that struck me was this card, really, it was that you're under no illusions. You are under no illusions and you're not a victim at all. If this was in the upright position, there would be some form of a little bit of victim energy, but there is none here, okay? So you are in a really good place. You're in a really good space. You're under no illusions. You're in touch with what's important. You're in touch with the truth. Okay. And most importantly, you're in touch with your truth, okay? You know what's right for you and you're happy so this is great okay this is beautiful and that is most important that you stay high vibe and happy other people have other truths okay and that works for them and that's fine but you're in touch with your truth and that's working for you you're under no illusions you're doing great one thing that i am seeing here is that you might be resisting healing of some kind. Maybe there's some good thing that's trying to come into your life and you're possibly resisting that, okay? 
what is that good thing? I don't know, <laughs> right? Maybe we'll draw some of these and we'll see if we can find out. But it, it could be a healing. It could be a good thing. I'm not sure. There's something you're resisting. It's very wonderful that wants to come into your experience. That was the thing that I saw through this card here. I think this kind of represents, this is quite interesting. It represents a few things. It can represent your dream, your material dreams, or the things that you are desiring or wanting to create. I'm getting a strong signal that that's very possible and that you're doing it. You're doing great, in fact, on your path of manifesting what it is that you want. So that's a kind of confirmation card there. There is moonlight here. So there is a bit of maybe subconscious stuff going on under the surface, maybe even a little bit of melancholy, something along those lines, but nothing too major. Nataraj, Lord of the Dance. Let's see what it says at the back here. It says, I salute Shiva, the form of the universe and Lord of the cosmic dance. With his ankle bells tinkling, he crushes death under his feet. <laughs> wow, so dramatic. That's what, one of the things I love about Indian mythology is it can be like pretty full on and I love that. <laughs> All right, blessings, fearlessness. Yes, I see that here. There is no pulling the wool over your eyes. It's, it's, it's in this card here, so that's really good. Fearlessness, joy of creativity, perfection in the arts of music and dance, finding pleasure in all circumstances of life beautiful and that's that's an interesting one right there finding pleasure in all circumstances of life that you're okay as you traverse and as you move through because you're connected to the all is one okay so you can move through this world without the world bringing you down okay so that's that's really important truth this is also another thing that's been you know, this is something that, yes, I've been looking at. Okay, so what is the truth? And as you move through the world, we've got this beautiful phrase here, finding pleasure in all circumstances of life, that you're unfazed, okay, as you move through the world. If, if you're very frequently asking for the outside world to change so that you can be happy, that's not going to work out, right? Because you're going to have to ask an awful lot of people to change their ways or for you, you know, and that's, that's not, um, that could be why this is in the reverse. This is what the energy is. Yeah, I can see what this is. Um, yes, you would have to ask everybody to keep altering their stuff so that you can be happy. That's, that's not going to work out. The ultimate thing is that you are connected to your intuition to your higher self and that way when you have that connection strong you can move through anywhere in life and you won't be phased okay so if people hold a different opinion to you that's okay because you are connected to your truth and your intuition see intuition is a tricky business as well because i'll give you an example okay Eckhart Tolle rented out his place one time in Glastonbury and a girl took the room next door. Anyway, she got a really weird vibe from Eckhart because she never met anyone like him. And she thought, this guy is so weird. And she genuinely thought he was a serial killer. And she said that, you know, I want to I move out. I want to cancel the contract. She was freaking out, basically. And he said, okay. And like everything he did, she wasn't expecting it. And the fact that he was so easy about her wanting to leave freaked her out again. She kept being freaked out. And see, if with intuition, was she tapped, tapped into her intuition? No, she wasn't. Okay. She was being led by emotions. So her emotions were leading her. And that's not being connected to your truth or to your intuition. Intuition is a tricky business. Some people think like, how do I know it's my intuition? Versus 
you know, is it a feeling? Because your feelings, when you've got positive feelings, very often, yes, you should go in that direction. But then, yeah, do you listen to negative feelings? See, all this stuff is so important. I want to do a tutorial on this about how to use your intuition because intuition doesn't mean that you only follow positive vibrations. It means that you can be with any vibration and not lose your cool. You can be with any vibration and you're centered. You can be with any vibration and you're neutral. You are in touch with your truth. You're in touch with neutral. You're always in touch with just reality, peace and the now. Okay. If you're always connected, then you can be with any type of person. See, that lady was with Eckhart. She thought he was a serial killer. Her vibrations inside were telling her this guy's a weirdo. But it's not. It's actually that he's so peaceful. She had never met anyone so peaceful in all her life. Right? So because it was so foreign, she thought he was a weirdo. See, so if, if she's calling her feelings intuition, she's not, she's not tuned in. Is she? She's not connected to her truth. See, it's oh, this is such a big, big discussion. Actually, this is huge. I mean, I want to do yeah, as I say, proper tutorials about it. Let's see if there's anyone else here, and let's see what kind of archetypes we pull through. But yeah, I hope that made sense. What I was talking about just there, because it is a tricky thing. Then you're able to watch any video, then you're able to watch anything, you're able to expose yourself to any information, but you're always okay, okay? Emotions come and go, right? Thoughts come and go. Don't be led um, by emotions. Don't be led or attached to thoughts, because those are the things that will take you down the wrong pathways. Okay, uh, let's take a look and see what kind of... I feel like I didn't explain any of that very well. Um, it's, yeah, because my, my thoughts are still being formed about all this and I want to create something like a tutorial of how to use your intuition. I've got a lot of thoughts on that. <coughs> okay, apologies about the throat. Let's see what comes through. Wise woman, yeah, that's you. Or man, okay, I've got a pretty equal audience that taps into my uh, picket cards. I've got men and women, so you are very wise, whoever you are. <coughs> oh, apologies about throat. <clears throat> Maybe someone is having a little bit of trouble at the moment speaking their truth. It's quite possible. So you've got a healing in reverse. It's a throat chakra healing. There's something going on there. It's okay. Nothing major. Let's take a look and see what this is. Ooh, shapeshifter. That's interesting. I wonder if this is you or someone else. It could be. Do you know, I'm going to... I'm going to say this could be to do with the truth. <laughs> I think this is you. And I think you're coming to a sort of mastery of intuition. You are, you're working out, yeah, what, what is intuition and how that operates within you. And I think it's the truth that, yeah, does the truth shape shift? I'm not sure, but I'm feeling compelled to put that there. Isn't that bizarre? That is a, that is a massive discussion. Truth and shapeshifter. That's like, there's philosophy, there's, there's hours of chat in that. Yeah, oh man. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what guidance comes through. <clears throat> I want one card, come on card. Which one wants to come through? I think that one, this one. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Beautiful message. 
Use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion. Yeah, keep going. And you're doing great. There's definitely a message of you're doing great here. Group number three, keep going. You're very wise. And you are, you are connected to your truth and you'll be fine as you move through the world. Keep moving through the world. You'll be fine. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, group number three. And please let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.